Hi YouTube, here we have the Kershaw Pub, a modern friction folder that's UK friendly. The scales are a combination of stainless steel and carbon fibre and you can see it has a couple of extra tools as well. Let's take a closer look at the blade which is of course the most important part. This is a stone washed sheep's foot, well a modified sheep's foot blade. The steel is 8CR13 MOV, which holds an edge well and is easy to sharpen. On the back, you can see some really good jimping so that when you're holding it, it's not going to close on you. So that's the nice thing about this design. Because there's plenty of jimping past the pivot, when it's fully open, you've got something to hold on to, and that's not going to close on your fingers at all. Looking at the grip, I'd say that was a three finger grip if you've got your thumb well advanced there. And you can see you can sharpen it right to the edge as there's this huge choil here. So really nice design. Looking at the other side of the blade, we can see that it's a Sinkovich design. And made in China, and there you can see the 8CR13 MOV. So really nice looking blade. I really like the look and the feel of this. I've been carrying it this week and I really enjoyed carrying it. This was a present from my son for my birthday. You can see the scales here, carbon fiber on this side. I really like this geometric pattern. It's not easy for the camera to focus on it, but it, it looks really good. So a really nice slicer. Now, it's designed to go onto a key ring. Let me just find a key ring. And you can see that when it's closed up, it hooks well onto a key ring. So you could you could have this on your keys. It's probably a little bit big for my key ring and I, I don't like having my key ring too, um, too cluttered. You could even clip this onto a belt loop as well. That would work really easily and this fits in the fifth pocket pretty well. So looking at the blade edge, this is a flat grind. The grind looks a little bit uneven on the blade edge actually. But I don't think that's that's too much of a problem. Just checking the sharpness. This from the factory is pretty sharp. So I'm I'm really pleased with that. And the actual blade, the cutting edge is 41 millimeters or one and five eighths. And the blade is, is easily well short of the three inches needed for it to be UK legal carry. Closing it up, if we just take a look, you can see that the blade is well centered there, as, as you'd expect with a modern knife. And to keep it closed and open, it has a single detent. I'm not sure if I can show that. You might just be able to see that through there. Let's see if it's clear from the other side. I think you can maybe just see the detent through that gap just in the middle here. So a single detent, which is plenty to, um, with this overhang past the pivot, there's no problem with it with keeping it open and keeping it closed. There's a decent amount of pressure needed to open it up. The blade, as well as being UK legal, I'd say that that's got a low eyebrow factor, so it's not going to raise too many eyebrows if I get this out to to cut something. And with this nice um, with this nice sheep's foot blade, then you can cut on the point as well. Open, it's 115 millimeters or four and a half inches. Now, it says that it's a one hand opener, but I, I've tried this a few times and I'm not that comfortable at opening it up one handed. I can just about do it. I think there's a strong chance of me actually cutting myself when I'm, when I'm doing this. So I tend to use it as a two handed opener. As I say, you could you could try to open it one handed, but it's it's not that easy to open.
closed with the key ring loop including that as well it's 90 millimeters or three and a half inches the weight comes in at 54 grams or 1.9 ounces just looking at the tools you can see as well as the blade it has a cap lifter and also has this flat head or pry uh, possibly a pry you you could easily um, open a paint can or something with that it's difficult to explain through the video but the back of this is really nice and smooth and the carbon fiber is pretty smooth too but when it's opened you get a good grip I, I don't see a problem with that because you you mainly hold it by the edges it's fine there are no protrusions that get in the way so really nice knife great design UK modern folder and a great fifth pocket or key ring knife hope you enjoyed watching this I really like this knife please leave a comment they're always welcome and if there's something I can do to improve if there's uh, something else you'd like to know please contact me if you have liked this video why not hit the like it really lets me know that I'm making the right sort of content thanks for watching see you in the next video